welcome back to your channel we are live on frameworks website and as you can see we are currently in a virtual queue with an estimated wait time of around 15 minutes that's right i have been waiting for the last 15 or so minutes the demand for frameworks new ryzen max desktop is so high that they've had to implement a queue just to manage the traffic Let's dive in and see what all the fuss is about. Frameworks new Ryzen Max desktop is a powerful tool for AI research and development, especially for running the inference on models on your own desktop. This compact desktop is designed to run massive AI models at incredible speeds, making it perfectly well for AI enthusiasts, researchers and developers. These are the images I was able to get when this was running uh, like half an hour ago. The Ryzen Max desktop doesn't come with a dedicated GPU by the way or graphics card, but it does have integrated graphics with 40 GPU cores. This provides a significant boost for AI workloads. If you need even more GPU power, you can connect external graphic cards using the desktop's USB 4 ports or PCIe X4 slots. This flexibility enables you to add high performance graphic cards to accelerate AI workloads and from there, sky is your limit. The Ryzen Max desktop, as you can see on your screen from the specs, can handle massive AI workloads like Llama 3.370 billion Q6 and DeepSeek R1 670 billion model. I will be talking more about it, but let's have a quick look at this specs table. The Ryzen Max desktop is powered by an AMD Ryzen AI Max 395 Plus processor, which has up to 16 CPU cores and 40 graphics cores. This processor is paired with up to 120 8 GB of unified LPD DDR 5x memory, which provides incredibly fast memory bandwidth of 256 GB per second, and that is really gold. The desktop has also got two M2 NVMe SSD slots, allowing you to add faster storage for your AI workloads. Coming back to running the models like Llama 3.370 billion or DeepSeek R1. With 120 GB of unified memory, this desktop can run complex AI models quickly and efficiently. You can also connect multiple systems or main boards using USB 4 and 5 GB Ethernet allowing you to scale up your AI infrastructure and run even larger models. The Ryzen Max desktop is powered by an AMD Ryzen AI Max 395 processor which has up to 16 CPU cores. Another cool stuff is that the Ryzen Max desktop is an affordable and flexible solution for AI. With a starting price of just 1099, this desktop is significantly cheaper than other AI focused system on the market. The desktop's modular design also enables you to upgrade and customize it to meet your specific needs. If you look here, one of the things which jumps out is this jacket. I will leave this trivia question for you as why under NVIDIA digits we have this jacket. Would Please share your thoughts in the comments. I'm sure if you don't know it and if you know it, either case you are going to enjoy the answer. So I think that this new desktop offers a unique blend of performance, flexibility and affordability. While Apple Mac Studio offers similar performance, it comes at a significantly higher price point. Nvidia's DGX station, on the other hand, offers more GPU power, no doubt about that, but it is designed primarily for data center use and maybe requires a significant investment in my opinion. But let me know, what do you think about this? Are you going to buy it when it is um, it gets released? Because at this price point, I'm very keen to know what are your thoughts. 
Also, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack, and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. That's it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.